This is John Riley coming to you from sunny South Florida. Look at this rain. It's been a monsoon. Look at where my truck is. It's like a mud pit. Anyway, back to the chainsaw video. Um, I put the um, 660 in here in the modified mini mill, which I think is going to work really good. Um, I put a regular muffler cover on here without any holes in it, so it's just one outlet. It's way too loud with the dual port muffler. It's got a stock cylinder. It's like a red light type of cylinder with no compression release. So I think I just bumped the timing up a little on this and it's a stock cylinder with a brand new um, 660 piston. But this thing came out really nice, this mill. I'm really happy with it. It's very rigid now that I got this bar in it. Like I said, I had to drill and tap this one and put an extra bolt in here because this one from Gramberg or whatever didn't come with any provisions to put a pipe in it but the pipe really helps um, strengthen everything up a little bit you know what I mean it gives it a little bit more stability so and also gives you another spot to grab and push and I moved the handle down to the right a little bit so anyway that's that one and the other mill I put the 088 in with a 42 inch cannon bar with a 404 chain that I stoned. I stoned the other chain as well. I should have showed you that. Um, just the upper quadrum. So when I mill with it, it shouldn't leave a whole lot of lines. It should be a little bit smoother, I'm thinking. I'm going to try that anyway to make sure, you know, see how good it works. But that's a square ground chain that's full skip, 404. I know it's going to take a bit of a bigger bite out of everything i've got a seven pin 404 gear on this one i didn't run an eight pin i want to gear it down so the saw doesn't have to work too hard but i got 35 inches of bite with this bar right now where it's at from there to there it's 35 36 inches um so anyway this is the mill with the crank and all that stuff the hand crank that i did up yesterday that i made the irate video that saw came out pretty, didn't it? It runs. It's got a stock cylinder as well with a dual port muffler. And it idles real good. And, you know, it's not really, not ported or nothing. Just perfect for milling. It's a little bit rich. Yep. My garage is filthy right now. I made that little stool out of red mahogany and it cracked because I made it a little too thin. I made this out of one solid piece of um, mahogany, the log. So I just drilled and put some screws in it. This is a great little seat, but I went a little too thin on it. This oak one here is just bulletproof. I use this for putting my shoes on. It came out really nice. I just sanded it. That was one solid piece of log that I, you know, you just flip it over and you take the chainsaw and you cut, cut, cut until it ends up looking similar to that. And then you sand it and then it comes out really nice. Oh my God. Anyway, that's that. And it's, like I said, it's been raining like a you know what out. Those are my pellet guns that I got. A friend of mine, Lander, gave me the one with the silencer. That's 975 feet per second. And the new guy that just moved in the neighborhood, Steve, gave me this one for helping him with a little bit of tree trim and some bobcat work. I wasn't looking for nothing, you know, but he gave me this one. He said it was around 250 for the gamo, um, 1300 feet per second. And these are all the pellets I got. These are supposed to be like armor piercing pellets and then you got these are all 22 caliber pellets you got these little tampons that go through the pellet gun that cleans them you fire them through there and um just a mixed variety of pellets these are the real light ones that sound killer when you shoot them they're real loud because they break the sound barrier they're like a light alloy they give you that crackle sound these are all good pellets i like these a lot here these are the gamo pellets these are real accurate they hit hard. These are my favorite, and these are dirt cheap. You get like 500 of these big son of a guns for like, I don't know, next to nothing. I got my buddy Dave Hill going to order me another 500 of these. I was taking the iguanas out of the tree the other night with these big bitches. They're nice. Yep. That's that. What else can I show you that's interesting? Um, saw the blue chainsaw. Saw all these chainsaws. Oh, this one came out really nice this 084 I went through it it's not real loud it's ported and milled but it starts real easy it starts like a 3120 and how easy they start it just pulls real easy this is a OEM pull start I got the whole thing from a guy from a steel dealer 
and I got a brand new side cover. Yada, yada, yada. And I cleaned it all up the best I could. And this is my little 394. I've got a little mini 404 chain on it with the 404 um, small bar. It's a roller nose bar. I love it. Square file chain. I could take down sable palms because palms tend to grab the bar and pinch it. With the wider, fatter chain, it goes through better. And this is 064. I think this one sold right here to a guy. He says he's going to mail me a check. We'll see what happens. This 440 sold. I got to put a different cylinder on it because, man, this thing runs so freaking good. This 440. You just touch the gas and it snaps, man. That's the one with the six transfer openings. It's so freaking responsive, but not quite as responsive as this five cube right here. This bitch is seriously badass. It's fast too, but this one runs excellent as well. This one's, that's the nitrous for this one. I'm gonna put it all back together. I got this running so good now. I just took my time, went over all the port numbers again, reported the cylinder, adjusted all the ports, um, you know, because they had nickel sil nickel sil at, at US Chrome. So I had to readjust all the, you know, porting and, and then I put all new fuel line in it and just kept kept going through it and and it runs excellent now. It runs better now without the nitrous than it did before when it was running crappy with the nitrous. So all I have to do is if I put the nitrous on, put a little small jet on it and put a little more fuel in it and it'll run real nice. Yep, it's got all new brand new gears in the pull start. It's all brand new rope, brand new everything. It's all new shit. Sorry, didn't mean to drop you. And what else is going on? Yeah, that's about it. It's just a boring kind of drawn out. Been like this for three days, you know? But anyway, I'm getting ready to mill some shit. I think this mini mill should work really good now that it's like that much longer. Um, it was a pain in the ass before because when you had a, like the ladder, it would barely reach the end of the ladder. It would keep slipping off all the time. So that's a 36-inch bar. That was a Husqvarna bar that I re readjusted the end to fit the still. And I just drilled an extra oil hole in it just to line up a little better to make sure. You know, it's got two oil holes now. It's got two adjuster holes on the bar. So no matter what saw you run it on, it, it fits pretty good. This is that low pro... Um, chain that's made by Oregon an old ass low pro um, and you can see I made a, a ripping chain out of it and I stoned it you can see where I stoned it I put it in the vise and I run it and I just hold the stone against it so this chain should cut without pretty much without any lines so that's that'll be nice which a lot of guys don't think about when they mill but it's, it's really nice I didn't measure how much bar I got but it's plenty it should be plenty now I just need to get a small piece of ladder from a friend of mine to, for, um, for my chainsaw mill because I use my other one for my tree fort. Anyway, this is a saw I just fixed for my friend. His guys tear the shit out of everything. I just got this little Husqvarna off a guy. He gave it to me. It was all dirty sitting. Um, the pull starter was screwed up. I put a brand new ball on it, brand new fuel on it. It runs pretty good. And that's about that. Yep. Thanks for watching. That's me in a nutshell. Have a great day.